Hello, 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 guys and gals and non-binary pals. Sorry for the delay. Sorry for the delay. That's the sentence I was trying to say. I couldn't get the actual <laughs> streaming software to work. Yesterday, I couldn't get anything to work. <laughs> so, th that was an improvement. That's why it took a little bit longer to start. Um, we're doing the fifth part of Barbarossa, of Frederick Barbarossa's campaign. Um, Barbarossa's march were going from unifying Germany, dealing with a traitor ally person, uh, forcing religion stuff to make the Holy Roman Empire instead of just whatever, uh, actually forcing Italy to capitulate and now we're marching towards the Holy Land to go on crusade um, that's the gist of what I know from the titles um, as I've said with all of these I don't know Frederick Barbarossa's history that well never took a class that focused on the Holy Roman Empire at all I don't know So we're marching towards a crusade, that's all I know. We're gonna click this and have it read us the history. The Holy Roman Empire was complete, and for the moment, both Germany and Italy swore fealty to Barbarossa. Alas, their peace was not to endure. Shocker. The crusaders faced in Palestine were crumbled. The Saracen king named Saladin had evicted virtually every crusader from their path. Pope called for a new crusade before the Holy Land became Saracen once again. Remarkably, Barbarossa agreed to undertake this new crusade for the Pope he had fought so hard against. King Philip of France and England's Richard the Lionhearted had already boarded ships bound for the Middle East. But Barbarossa's army was the largest by far, and there wasn't a fleet in Europe that he could transport. The Emperor would have to march overland. Constantinople, and through the land of the Turks to reach the rendezvous in Jerusalem. Constantinople was the capital of the Byzantine Empire, and one of the most glorious cities on the globe. Barbarossa's army would be able to rest and resupply in Constantinople before it began the Great March. If only that were the case. There wouldn't be this part of the campaign if that were as easy as it sounded. <laughs> I think I made the comment uh, during the Attila the Hun campaign with my brother when we played that, that so many people say the walls of Constantinople will never fall or have never fallen, except for the fact that Constantinople was Istanbul. <laughs> that name change did not come from the same country. Constantinople has fallen and been sacked quite a few times. So, here's to wondering what this invasion or resting force in Constantinople will do. Uh, also, I haven't gotten that far in the Saladin campaign to know where this goes on that end either. Um, my brother and I have been playing that off camera, I guess. I can't say we have been playing it. We played it once and I think we got all the way to like the, the fourth one. We tried to play the campaign on stream and it crashed randomly like right as we were finishing a level and we just went, that's it. And then we played the other ones off camera. <laughs> so, not fully certain what role, if any, Saladin has in Barbarossa's campaign. Other than 
we're going on crusade, we're trying to march to Jerusalem, and Saladin is also trying to attack Jerusalem. So, there's some, some amount of conflict intended to happen. So I guess for all I know, this map could be the same map that is in Saladin's campaign, just from a different perspective of Barbarossa's army. Although I guess that would imply that Saladin would win that fight, or it just ends in a draw, and in the end of the sixth part, Barbarossa is dead, and Saladin is also dead, and therefore both sides just kind of go, well, whatever. I don't remember when the last crusade that's initiated by the Pope happens. Like, I don't remember what year that happens in, and so I don't know if this campaign is the last crusade, or if there's one after it. Most of my history classes were American focused. So I'm not too well versed in what is actually happening. Oh, at least 10 troops must survive to reach the hospitaller camp. Okay. There are a few safe places to land along the Anatolian Peninsula. Directly across from Constantinople is one of the safest landings. Do not destroy any enemy ships that you might use. You are unable to build your own. There will be many hazards along the journey. You may need to rely on new recruits in the surrounding areas to help replenish your war-beaten forces. Advance slowly, scout ahead, and protect your siege weapons and monks. The Imperial Army Red, which is you, okay has traveled east towards the Holy Land. To transport this vast army of the Aegean Sea, Barbarossa will need the help of the Byzantines. Transport ships can be found in either Constantinople or Gallipoli. Okay, crossing the sea will not be easy with the Saracen Navy patrolling it. Anatolia has fallen to the Seljuk Turks, yellow. The road through these lands is dangerous, but Barbarossa has no other option. Once the German army reaches the hospital, there's orange, however, it will be safe. Your Imperial Majesty, we must cross the Sea of Marmara to reach the Holy Land. There are two places where we might commandeer ships. The weak port of Gallipoli is heavily fortified since Constantinople. I will just have okay so Gallipoli is the easier one to attack apparently that's Constantinople you are not going to attack Can I convert a building? No, but I... Wait, actually, diplomacy. They're, they're both allies, okay. I can't convert it because they're an allies boat. 
Honestly, I should swap number two and number one as my units. In the bending happy? No, not more to say to them. Emperor Barbarossa, I do not want that filthy army in my kingdom. Current back at once. We want to rule the Byzantine navy. We must invade Constantinople. Take out their siege weapons. Take out their siege weapons. Not let that get in range. Okay. Station troops near the Haggai Sophia Wonder. Where's the Haggai Sophia Wonder? I want to capture the house. I have five population available. Actually, this range is 11, this range is 9, I should keep these guys back. My other scout cav died, okay. That's not good, but that's kind of expected. Do they have another entrance point? It's a green dock. Okay, let's have you guys go attack the dock. All of you can take out that, actually. I'd like all of you to just move forward. I'll have you attack the gate. That's not what I meant to click on. I want you to guard these guys. Gallipoli is still an ally. to pull back. Okay, and we continue to go scouting because the more information I have on the map, the better. I know Constantinople does not like me. Are they just not going to keep attacking? Okay, that was a waste of time. They should have been attacking. How's Gallipoli view me? Welcome to Gallipoli, your royal highness. Oh, 
transport, my lord emperor. But I fear Saracen warships rule the Aegean. We may lose many men. Okay, so Gallipoli actually cares about me. Granted, I am supposedly having a ginormous army running through their lands rather than just this single scout. Okay, there's probably something up over here on this area. None of these towers around. I don't want to set this to auto explore. Because I feel like that's asking for a problem. so that there is nothing that can possibly stop my army. Because I have to survive with 10. No! No! Run away! Run away! Run towards the monks. Okay. And they've got a tower. <laughs> I'm taking it slow and steady. Because the worst thing that could happen would be my entire army ends up dead. Our unit pretty quickly at the start of this fight, so that sucks. Okay, go back to heal. Then I'll have this one, and I'll have this one go attack that building. Where is the Haggai Sophia wonder? Okay. We're making it so that we've got all of this taken care of, where the only thing that they can have would be unit spawning oh it is actually immediately attacking it okay not exactly that normal can I convert the buildings? I can't I don't have any resources so it doesn't fully matter, but I can convert their buildings. Okay. You get to come back. Got that building. I am trying to play this as safely as possible. Because the fact that the objective is 10 troops tells me that this is supposed to be pretty difficult. Or could get really difficult. There's a castle there. Okay, good to know. I 
yourselves up. Three of you go after the castle. And then we'll go no attack stance still. I still don't have an idea of where the so Haggai Sophia wonder is. It's not on the map. Normally wonders are like white bordered on the map. Did. Okay, where is the wonder? Where's the town center? That's the wonder. Sending my trebuchets in first is Very well, a terrible idea. You have made your point. I will allow you to use my navy if you will take your mutant crusader and leave. Awesome. Oh, geez. They got a big navy. And or a bigger navy than I expected. Are the Byzantine... Are the Byzantines the only one who can make a sea gate, or is that just... Okay, I clicked on the map. Or is that just the... they built it that way? Why are so few of them attacking? No, all of you attack. Aggressively attack, even. Well, I lost all the demo ships for no real reason, it seems. There's nothing up here. That's good. Just making sure nothing can sneak up behind my fleet. Okay. All right. Alrighty. Let's get all of these to go up here as well. That house can stay. This would be control group five. Five is my navy minus transports. Ooh, that could have been bad. Glad I spotted it. That apparently did enough damage from that distance. Okay. I'm not putting any of my units in the transports until I know that it is a safe area. Okay, those transports getting all the way around feels nice to me. Target, mow them down. Change the formation to be able to scout a larger area. Okay. 
A. Let's see, can I go through this zone? I want to make it as safe as possible. I don't know what happens if I lose... Well, okay, if I lose too many units, I, I lose the game. I know that very, very well. Okay, so this is the only path that they can come through right now. Oh, some of them only have... I'm playing it risky because I just saw a ship in that harbor. All my units just decide to get in boats, please. I don't know what's so hard about the pathing. Oh, that fast fire ship being there. Get out of there before it decides to attack, please. Oh, that's terrifying to see. <laughs> Alright, we got all the boats. Okay. Find where I'm supposed to land. Choose to ignore it. Choose to ignore it. Oh gosh, it's a bombard cannon. How long has it been since we've been shipped off by the Titan? My max clones have sunk so many. I can't land there. Oh, they've got a trebuchet. Can I set the... Well, okay. Yes, I can set this, the trebuchet up. Let's see. Come over to here. Drop off the trebuchet. Can you get close enough to attack that? No. Okay. Possibly have this attack that. And you're still on, don't attack anything without permission. So evidently I missed the drop off point.
or the place that I'm supposed to drop off. Okay, that works out. Looks like a lot of shipwreck areas. I'll take it out. Cool. You can go into the boat. Then you go into that boat. I, st I think I still have all my units. Minus boats. I only have 15 boats left. Okay, so... The landing zone is here? Question mark? Or is it further this way? That's the only other spot I haven't looked. I'm gonna do something that's Probably stupid. A transport ship that has a trebuchet. This is my scout. <laughs> it's a better scout than the scout. How far inland can this go? There's the Seljuks. So I'm assuming this might be the landing zone. Yeah, because I'm not seeing anything else. Okay. All of you unload here. The Teutons are trying to land. Attack! Unload wherever you can. Okay. You guys are gonna get lumped in with group three. Go attack. Control group four, I would like you to also not attack. I've got units over here suddenly. Oh. Why do I have more monks? I don't know what triggered that. Oh, there's more enemies right there. Okay. Okay, heal up all the army we got. Okay, and then you are my scout. Anything on this side? No, just cliffs. Cliffs and that outpost. By attacking the outpost. that one to get closer. Cool. That worked. 
worked out in my favor. Oh, did not mean to zoom out. We've got four, five, six, seven. Seven there? Okay. All of you. Charge. All of you. Also kind of charge, but you walk slower, so waddle there, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> the army shall waddle its way because they're on foot and the horses shall just gallop past because they're horses. Go on the offensive. Also, I believe I'm in the post-imperial age, so I'm just gonna have all of my Highly armored units be highly armored. Oh, well, that's a wall there. Okay, let's control group one, two, three, and four. Can we come up here? I guess there is another path, so I could figure out if that's going to be good or not. I don't know. Let's explore this way. I want to know if there was another spot I could have landed at. Based on the Seljuks being over here, I'm guessing no. But it never hurts. Can I have four of these? Oh yeah, they're just two right inside of each other. You attack that one, you attack that one, you attack that one, you attack that one. And then now that they're set up, I actually have to give them commands again. I'm not doing anything. I don't like the screen shaking. I've never seen that effect happen. That was truly weird to me. There's still any enemies around. This will get them to run over. It doesn't look like it. I would have expected them to come through by now. Probably not a good thing that I'm using my siege equipment as a scout. <laughs> I do still have a scout, so I guess I could use that. Yeah. Still do have a scout. No, don't send those guys in. Send control group one in with three as backup. It's against camels, I want to use halberds. Honestly, we're taking this probably too slow. I only need 10 troops, oh. I nearly walked right into that castle. G. 
genuinely nearly walked directly into that castle and would have probably lost quite a few troops. try and take out all of their units as best as I can. Okay. How easy it is, is it to just get to the where the hospitalers are? Get out of range of the castle, get out of range of the castle. <sighs> Glad I saw the castle. We're really close to this area, but I don't know if attacking the Seldricks over here is necessary. And even if it isn't necessary, yeah, these connect. I don't, I don't think this is necessary. I think I could just slide right by. All the outposts just got decimated. That's kind of funny to me. All right. Can I actually get to where I'm supposed to be at? Any more Seldricks in the way? Does not look like it. It is lagging as it is trying to load in all of the Hospitallers. So I only have to get 10 troops over here. What happens when I get all of my units here. The forces of Frederic Barbarossa. But what happened? Do the flag end? Head for the castle. We can rest there. This looks like it could have been another landing zone, possibly. So I have to get to the castle? I don't want to do that until I have all my forces. I only needed 10 units, minus these 15, I have 92. Uh, 87, 77, I have 77 units. Welcome. You may rest here with us before you continue your journey to the hospital. Yeah, I have I have seventy seven out of ten units. I feel like that deserves a steam achievement. Survive this with fifty or more units. I feel like that should be an achievement. Although I guess this was really easy for me. Barbarossa's weary army has marched for hundreds of miles through the cracked mountains in the heat of July. So when it stumbled upon the Gökshu River, the men were astonished and grateful. Barbarossa himself could not resist plunging into cold water. He 
without even pausing to remove his armor, to the stiff beneath of the surviving troops. Barbarossa descended, drowned. Some said the Emperor could not swim in his flaked armor. Others believed the 67-year-old heart had finally given out. Regardless of the exact cause of death, Barbarossa's crusade ended there on June 10th, 1190. The Holy Roman Emperor was gone. That's kind of funny. Sad, but funny. <laughs> Just of, of anything that could have caused his death, it was drowning. <laughs> As someone who can't swim, I find that really, really funny. Uh, <laughs> um, unsurprisingly, I destroyed the most buildings and I murdered the most units. I didn't lose that many, honestly. I could have lost a lot more. Honestly, a lot of these are probably boats because the Saracen Navy... I only lost one to the Seljuks, which was that Paladin. 84 is the largest army. Constantinople and Gallipoli were the only ones who even had units that could get things. I got most of the map. Well, I didn't get most of the map, but I got two-thirds of it. 100% research. This is not bad. How do I have 10 villagers? What? I don't know. I gained villagers here. I got villagers? Interesting. Hmm. Did I genuinely have villagers and just never noticed it? I just... No, because I have no villagers up here. Oh, it, it might it might be the transport ships. Transport ships counted as things. If I had landed over here... It then would have been go up and around, fight through this area. Apparently, capture this group of units, maybe. Go down and around. Huh. It looks like I could have taken a second route, especially if I destroyed the forest here to get through. Which I guess I could have done. Hmm. Guess there are two ways to get to the end. This part over here being an earthquake that takes it down seems interesting to me. I've never had that effect where it forces your screen to like vibrate back and forth like this. I've never like I've seen that in like Age of Mythology, like that game doing the uh, earthquake stuff but that's also there's a mythical power god god power very i didn't bring my two monks oops whatever there's a god power that actually makes an earthquake so that's what that reminded me of oh huh. okay That actually, yeah, because it went down during a battle event with the Saracen Navy. So yeah, villager player light military dark population. I guess the transport ships do count as villager light. Villager is the light version, so military ships. I didn't realize that. Huh. Um. This did only take 40 minutes. And... 
I thought it would take a lot longer. So. Hmm. Let's just play the last one. Alaroth opened the Gehenna. Several knights committed suicide. Others converted and joined the Caracol. So convinced were they that God himself had deserted them. However, That's drastic. a handful of knights were not yet willing to board a ship bound for Europe. The body of mighty Barbarossa was stripped out of the river pickled in vinegar and sealed in a barrel. The army of the Holy Roman Empire would not be joining in the crusade. Yet there was still a chance for a small victory. The surviving knights vowed to take Barbarossa's body on to Jerusalem. Even in death, the Emperor would keep his promise. That's very, very drastic measures for quite a few knights. I mean, I guess with with how loyalty worked in that era of time, I guess maybe it makes a bit more sense. Like, people were a lot more loyal to the end. I guess it makes an amount of sense to be like, oh, the person we serve is gone. Guess there's no reason to keep going. Like, mm, that makes me feel like how it's at work is like, just because your boss isn't there doesn't mean that you're not supposed to still keep working. Okay. Main objectives. Do not destroy the Dome of the Rock, an important holy site in Jerusalem. <laughs> the pickle barrel must make it to Jerusalem unharmed. And deliver the body of Barbarossa and the pickle bar barrel to the Dome of the Rock in Jerusalem. The German Crusaders have a population of 150. I start with having five. Okay. Use your available time to orchestrate an efficient attack. Counter war elephants with pikemen or monks and siege weapons with knights. You can pass through Saracen and Persian gates so long as you are allied to them. Invest heavily in siege weapons, particularly capped rams. Convert Persian war elephants to gain valuable assault units. Yep, that makes sense. Uh, Crusaders of the Holy Roman Empire Red have finally made it to the Holy Land, but sadly their emperor has not. Now they wish to bring his body to Jerusalem. The city of Jerusalem, blue, is well fortified, but does not have a large army. Crus the Crusader... Why is that so hard of a word for me to read? The Crusaders should try to not destroy the entire city and its holy places upon breaching it. The city of Damascus, yellow, lies on the road to Jerusalem. It is allowing pilgrims to pass through its city gates, but will become hostile once it discovers the true intentions of the German knights. Their city is defended by war elephants, paladins, trebuchets, and onagers. Saladin Green has vowed to protect the Holy Land against the invaders and has built fortifications in order to do so. Just like Damascus, he is not hostile towards the Germans at first, but his mind can easily change. He'll train elite Mamelukes, onagers, arbaleskers, and monks. Richard the Lionheart Orange is waiting for Barbarossa and his reinforcements to continue the Third Crusade. He personally leads an army of elite longbowmen, cavaliers, and trebuchets. All we can do at this point is attempt to deliver the Emperor's body to Jerusalem. The Saracens and Persians do not view us as a threat, so we should have ten minutes to plan our attack. I've got ten minutes to plan. Ooh, baby. Ooh, baby. 
How many farms can I put in the chest? All. Okay, all of you. Nine minutes to fast in attack. Go to university and a monastery. And a blacksmith. Jeez, those minutes go by so fast. I can't build more population. I can't build more popula- I can't build more units. Uh... Build a house. And a second and a third. I can't afford a third. Ah! All of you go wood chopping. I love that this is just called Emperor in a Barrel. That is amazing to me. This is the army I have. Okay. Six minutes to fast and attack. Where are they gonna be attacking from? That's what I need to know as well. Or I don't have any tectonic uh, tectonic teutonic knights. Upgrade to halberdiers. Upgrade capped rams. Yeah, thank you to teutonic soldier, but you're not helping me. Uh, all of you. I need you guys build, uh, not build. All of you. You guys will build this and you will build that and then you will go over here and build this and then you'll come back and oh they cost 36 that's nice you'll do that and you'll build this and then there's still six of you so that'll be Two, three, four, four, and five. All right, cool. Okay, Saracen's attack would be probably green. I'd assume. Three minutes to fast and attack. Stop talking. I don't have a monk. There are no monks. I should put all of that in control group nine. Control group nine. Control group four has nine buildings. That's what it is. I've built things. Uh, cavaliers cost too much. Um, 
We'll get a third monk. What's the research I can do? Uh, if Saracen's, if Saracen's, if Saladin is the one who attacks me, a green, I need to have an army up there. Okay, please don't be green. I hope these German goats whip. No matter. They will die as well as any crusader. Is it all of them? It's all of them became enemies. Okay. Okay. Fine. That makes sense. I'll take it. Okay. So this is the Dome of the Rock. Richard the Lionheart is also going to ally with me. I've got three, let's make it four doing that. I've got 10 on food, seven on wood. You're glitched out. Oh, large army. No! All my monks have died all at once! My Teuton reinforcements. Jeez, whoa. I expected more. And where is Barbarossa? Alas, we shall do the best we can. So this is Saladin's, Saladin's, this is Saladin's area. They did not find, it does not look like they found a lot of resource areas. Oh, could you build a, build that mill? work there. Okay. You're going to be control group 8 because I'm going to forget about you if I don't. Okay. The champions. Trapped rams. And then we'll upgrade to Paladins. Um, I have an ally. Do they have a market? Yes, they do. Awesome. 
I need to select all of my people. Intriguing. Let's see, did we get Alt C earlier? Alt C lets me see military. Alt G does ally enemy colors. Okay. I'm under attack again. So have more than two or three That's a lot of them. Please destroy these quick enough. Thank goodness. Damascus is here. as well as I want it to. Maybe I should stop trying to make monks work, even though the recommendation was to uh, 52 gold coming back is not bad. Does it get attacked by this? Does not look like it. Okay. Cool. We've got that going for us. I'd like to have one villager harvesting these sheep. Castle is nearly back to full. I can almost upgrade to paladins. Strong versus mounted units, especially elephantes. Was it that all of them make elephants? Uh, I'm 
War Elephants, Paladins, Troopers, Shades, Onagers, Mamelukes, Onagers, Abolisters, Monks. Does not have a large army. Okay. Does not have a large army does not mean that it does not have an army. I want to steal an elephant if possible. Steal an elephant. I didn't get to steal an elephant. Plus three conversion range might actually make the difference. Okay. Teutonic Knights do a lot of damage, but are very, very costly. I need 650 for that. I need 750. Got one, two, three, four. There's three and six, so that's nine. So I do have five. Can only afford one trebuchet. Okay, there's two trebuchets coming. already is fully done fully researched all right let's upgrade these honestly I don't need the archer one I'm not building any archers at this point in time we'll increase their attack as well and then I will probably be able to start going on the offensive soon I'm about to hit population capacity. Yep. I actually saw that before it happened this time. Uh, 85, 90, 95, 100, 105, 110, 115, 120. 130, 135, 140, 150. That's not how math works 145 and then 150. And then you go back to your farm. Adding 5 each time does not make 140 become 150 by one added addition of five this doesn't actually s okay here hint says 150 i was like did i remember the correct number there are five of you convert the darn elephant convert an elephant
Why can't I steal an elephant? It should be simple. I don't want to go to the zoo to steal an elephant. Don't ask why that was my thought process to make it funny. Going to the zoo to steal an elephant is not something you should do to get an elephant. Also, it's very much illegal. <laughs> I'm just gonna build a lot of halberdiers. Okay. I'm gonna take out this one random tower that's over here. I saw that as it fired, it was the regular cannonball projectile, and then it s caught fire as it landed because I researched the chemistry research at the same time as it finally landed. So it did more damage as it hit. That's kind of funny to me. Alright. Increase attack. May as well have increased armor if I need to start using them. Hmm, don't need those. Hand cannoneers. Strong versus infantry, but they're not strong against... Not strong against the... Um, no! There you go. That was the easiest way to figure out how to get the builder out. Or how to get the, the farmer unstuck. Just destroy it all. Okay, how's this patch of gold going? That's the last of it. And then I will have you come over to here. Savar. I've never read that name of a unit. That sounds cool. Please, I have five of them. Convert it before you die. God dang it. You monks suck at conversions. I swear these monks are like me and are just apatheists. They don't know. Oh, my trebuchet died. That was really mean. <sighs> that was just really sad. I don't know what unit that was, but it died.
All the stone miners. Oh, they're actually attacking. Interesting. Sometimes the AI does not actually help. Getting converted. Interesting. Okay. Uh, because mangonels are part of the hey, they're gonna be able to build these. Go to. I have made the poor decision to keep producing monks. Go fight these. Fight. You darn monk. I have no idea if I'm lagging or if my army is just stupid. Okay, this is lag. <laughs> Nothing on the screen is moving. That's lag. I do think my army is stupid, though. What the heck is wrong with my army? I have you set to aggressive stance. Go fight. Stop standing there doing nothing. No comprehension on what my army is trying to do. Just... There are no words for why that went bad. Because I genuinely don't know why that went so bad. Should have been easy. Who 
I don't know why that went so, so poorly. Try this again. And also, this seems like a fun thing to do. I do like that Richard the Lionheart is actually attacking like actively helping that does not always happen with AI They're not exactly smart, but they're helping. Granted, I guess my attack wasn't very smart either. Because it ended in complete and total failure. under attack oh the castle I just built <laughs> I was like what am I under attack for yeah the, the castle I just built Aggressively take out their trebuchets. Take out their trebuchets. Take out their other siege equipment. Retreat back up to the castle. Fight underneath both castles. underneath the castles it just means I have a better chance of surviving another spot to mine some gold now that I've uh, thoroughly ticked off yellow maybe 
Good job. I'm gonna select all the halberdiers. Got that. And attack there. They're mostly building mounted units. So other than the fact that the war elephants are able to hit multiple enemies at once, I have a type advantage. You've got six, you've got six, you've got six, you've got six, you've got Going aggressive. Yeah. Those are orange. Okay. Guys will be control group three. Your siege, siege units are control group three. You're gonna be control group one. Cavalry. You're gonna be control group two. Infantry and healers. Get back inside the rams. After the town center, what are you three not doing? Near Shepherd. I would like you to run into here. Guard the trebuchet, I guess. I don't know. Um, four, set your rally points to here. And then uh, spam halberdiers. And then we'll also send some of those. And we'll do that again. And then we'll do this. And we'll say, hey, send some Teutonic Knights. Upgrade them while you're at it. 
Send a trebuchet. And then we'll go to this one. Send a bunch of paladins. I don't have food. I'm surprised by that. Go defend with my siege equipment. Control group one, come over here. If you're part of control group two, attack that. And if you're a monk, you can convert that building, I guess. Um, trebuchet, pack up. I would like for you guys to go after this building. Because this building tends to be a problematic building if it's left alone for too long. And all of you guys can go after that building. You can convert that one, you can convert this one. And then you all can just kind of keep going here. Number four, build two more monks, because I'm assuming I've probably lost a monk somewhere in this fight. Probably. Uh, number four, let's get the siege workshops. Let's build some more capped rams. And let's do this. Let's build some more champions, some more halberdiers. I do not have much of an army left. Alrighty. That went pretty well. Could have been worse. Could have been a lot worse, actually. All right. And now 25 paladins. That's nice. All right. So we'll just do this. And we'll do this. And we'll do this. You're now group two. I cannot get all of you guys. So we'll do that. All the Teutonic Knights. And you champions will try and get in there. I did make petards. It's not fully intended. But that's okay. Oh, orange has gotten all the way in there. That's good to know. I'll go after Saladin's, uh, whatever that building's called. <clears throat> we'll go after that one next. Alrighty, any champions try and garrison in the rams? adds those in number three adds a cap 
some of these down. Oh, Lepitar didn't even get to go in there. Oh, okay. Go attack the wall. You guys can try and go into these rams. All of you nine are now out of work. Let's see, is there anything you can do in here? You can start chopping down some trees. Deforestation. I didn't realize that Saladin had a town center this far in. Oh, I can send more units this way. Blue doesn't have that big of an army. Yeah, I see that. Control group one, go attack that thingy. Okay, whatever we're doing while sacking Jerusalem. Control group eight. Not patrol. I need you guys to guard this. And guard it with your lives. Either I converted something or they converted something. I have zero ideas. I just figure I'm gonna quickly research everything.
to attempt that. Apparently I'm trying to convert the manga. I just lost like four monks all at once. Lost a unit somewhere. I don't know which one of my units got converted though. Number eight, you're right there. Okay. Run into the dome of the rock. Wasn't intending to try to convert that. But hey, if I can, that's a bombard tower. Emperor in a barrel is about to make it. The Emperor has reached Jerusalem. Not in the manner he expected, but with one final victory for Frederick Barbarossa. Yay, I think I won. Cool. That was a unexpected victory, considering I didn't know Frederick Barbarossa died <laughs> before he got to the Crusade lands, the Holy Lands, where the Crusades were happening. Concerning every great king, from Arthur on to Barbarossa, it says the king will return someday. When his country needs him. Myths and legends about the sleeping emperor were passed down in German folk tales. The Holy Roman Empire is not from here. It fell back into a patchwork of tiny city states. Some will say Barbarossa's rule was a failure. But is it not a greater testament to the man that it was the force of his will alone that held the empire together? And what of Henry the Lion? Barbarossa gone, there was nothing stopping him from returning to the Holy Roman Empire. But I am an old man now. <laughs> what harm could I possibly do? Cool to, to show the perspective, I guess. Probably a lot of this history was shown through, like, his diaries or journals, I guess. Steam achievements. Yay, winning the campaign that I have struggled forever as a kid to even get through the first one. I converted four units and they converted four units. It would be very, very funny if I converted the exact units back that they took. That would be very funny to me. Uh, most units defeated. I'm the one who pushed through the most. Uh, units lost. Jerusalem had the least amount of units. I only lost two buildings. The mining camp and the castle that I purposely built really close. Um... More army than the three enemies combined. Only one using trade. Got a lot of gold and a lot of stone. Food and wood, not so much. Did not get that much research. Or no, not, re I got a lot of research percent, but not the research count. I guess Jerusalem and Saladin might have just had more research that they could get. They were in the post-imperial age. They had 100% of research done. Okay. Not too bad. 39 villagers. I felt pretty good and comfortable with that, but evidently I should have had more. Richard had 50. Saladin had 40. 
Damascus at 35 and Jerusalem 99. Okay. And then timeline of fights. This is when that first attack failed horribly. And then I took out their entire army. They only had villagers left at the end. Okay. All right, not bad. There was, there was a castle over here. Okay. That's where Jerusalem's castle was. We kind of obliterated a lot of this area of Jerusalem. Um, Saladin had well, all of their houses over here, I guess. I attacked through where the yurts were, so I thought I destroyed all of their housing, but I guess I didn't because they could have kept building more units. This is where the castle was. There was more gold. Ah. Darn it. Not that I really needed it anymore. And then this was my allies area. Yeah. Saladin had this entire area as well. No wonder they were able to build so many units. Oh, they, they had a castle so close to me. Oh, they've def, definitely built this castle way later than started the game. Cause I would have noticed that so soon. Okay. It's building the forward market. Oh, here's the remainder of Damascus's um, civilian population, I guess. Yeah. Hiding inside of Saladin's base. That makes sense. Honestly, if you're about to be defeated, run your units over to your ally. Tends to keep you alive a lot longer. There was still stone in Saladin's base. They had just started mining it. Okay. Anyways, that is everything today. Um, didn't really expect to do the finale of this at this point in time, but the first, or, uh, part five, did not take as long as I thought it would, simply because I didn't have to build up an army. I was given one and then had to keep it alive. So yeah, the Barbarossa campaign. Simple and easy and... Done, I guess. <laughs> Um, let's see, what's the next one we should play? Conquerors, Age of Kings, Age of Kings, Age of Kings. This is learning, learning how to play the game. I'm not going to do William Wallace. I, I will never plan to do the William Wallace campaign because it's just it's learning how to play the game I don't feel a point in doing that um hmm. let's let's look at playing probably Alaric or the or Bari I've never played the Bari campaign so I don't know what it is um, other than it looks like the Byzantine Empire type stuff. And the last time, when I played this game before, Age of Empires 2 was not the HD edition. 
and it only had the Forgotten campaigns, the Conquerors campaigns, and the Age of Kings campaigns. But that's all I've ever played with. So, I don't recognize these Last Cons campaigns to even know what they do. Um. Val... Valio? Valo? Alaric or Bari. I'll probably play one of those three next. Um, I guess I have... Uh, these are Conquerors and Forgotten campaigns. So yeah, I have, I have played the American campaigns before. But yeah. We will play some amount of one of these campaigns at some point except for the mountain royals I don't have or any of these no I do have all the rest of them Lord of the West campaign I didn't know that was an expansion huh well whatever <laughs> the next time we play will be a different campaign um i will be changing the title of this one to show that it's also the finale part um but that's a postscript thing that you don't need to know that this that wasn't the title initially um <laughs> but i think that's everything for today um sorry this got pushed back a day uh a lot of technical difficulties yesterday and even as I tried to start it today um, I believe I said the Gemcraft stream is Friday early afternoon and still trying to figure out what I want to do for Saturday if I can get Minecraft to work I'll probably play that um, even though Arena does have a new set out, or Magic has a new set out, and so, uh, there are new decks to be built and new cards to use for Arena, so I want to play a game with that or two, or well, I want to open the packs to play the game, um. I don't know. I'm 50-50 on what game we're doing on Saturday. And it fully depends on which one wants to load and when. <laughs> um, but that will be Saturday's idea. It will either be Minecraft or Magic. One of those two M games. Um... And then the, the normal Gemcraft stream on on Friday. Um, but that's everything for me today. See you all later. Have a good night. Have a good day. A good evening. And a good morning. And a good time zone. Wherever you are. And peace out. <laughs>